is our dryer. We've called maintenance because uh, we rent and the dryer belongs to the place that we rent from. And we've called them multiple times over the course of the last year that we've lived here to tell them that their dryer sucks. I don't know, I mean they've come in a couple of times and closed out the ticket and I don't know if it doesn't make noise when it's empty or what. But I, I want the proof, I have the proof. So if they ever show up while I'm here and then they're like, oh, it's not doing anything, I can be like, yeah, it is. And it, even like, it had, you know those little like things you can stick inside your dryer and it's supposed to like scent everything for a really long time? I don't even know if they make them anymore, but uh, there was one in there and the plastic thing that it was attached to was like snagging our clothes and tearing them. So that's gone, so they got that message, but... You heard it, you heard it here. And I told Simon to clean his clothes up off the floor in his area here. And his answer was to literally open the bottom drawer of his dresser, shove everything in it. I guess they're not on the floor anymore. We're about to view the teenager in its natural habitat. Okay, as soon as I started to like, just play Zion this shit time, I went straight to 30 games with her and we got soda too. And if we're really quiet, we might be able to wake it by poking it with a stick. Yeah, I'll play League Mode. You putting this in the vlog? Why are you poking it? <laughs> <laughs> we're visiting the beast in its natural habitat. These guys are really bad. They're like just letting me beat them down. Well then it'll be an easy win, right? Should be. If my team doesn't feed. Zachary is playing League. This is his natural habitat. This is what you have to vlog when you forget to take the camera with you to places. I like listening to you kind of biscuits. What'd you say? <laughs> Luna's shutting your door. <laughs> Another beast me. in its natural habitat. Oi! Oi, 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 oi! I'm gonna... I'm gonna reach out and poke it. <laughs> 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 so what do you got in your arms there? Oh, just some pictures I drew. Let's show the camera. Oh, it's upside down. Hold it right side up for me. There we go. We have the Masty, the message. Yeah, that's a lion. <laughs> I drew that yesterday when I should have been vlogging. There's a lion. There's just a like wrapping paper design is the only yeah, way I, I can I'm think honestly of. thinking quilt. Hey, quilt, sure. That works too. The other one is this New York City skyline. So I drew those over the last couple of days. Go back to the lion, that one's my favorite. Hello, the masochist of the lion. That's I the lion. Speak. So I did this over the last couple of days instead of vlogging. But they're pretty cool, right? They're fun, it's relaxing. Those are my pictures. <laughs> yep, those are my pictures. I forgot to bring the camera with me today, so I got nothing for tomorrow. But eh, hey, I'll figure something out. So. I started this vlog yesterday. I'm finishing it today. It's a two day vlog special. Two day vlog special. Oop, it's dark in here. Let's go in here where it's lighter. Um, yeah, cause I didn't bring the camera. Well, yesterday you can see that I was doing pictures and I was watching Frankie and Grace and I just got like distracted and I watched TV and I drew pictures all day. And it was really, really nice. I you enjoyed it. You can already it. see it right now. The internet's thinking of you as this woman who's sitting at a desk drawing with a cup of ramen at your side. Ramen? That's Ooh. the stereotype. What stereotype? Yeah. I don't know where he gets his stereotypes because that's not one that you I've ever imagined. haven't been on the internet long enough. Ah! So that's what it is? Women sit and no, draw just while women. eating Guys. ramen noodles? Okay, I guess people get on the internet and they draw while eating ramen noodles. I wasn't eating any ramen noodles. They're just throwing that out there. I was maybe drinking some wine. <laughs> But that's I wasn't also part of the But I wasn't eating any ramen noodles. Funny enough, that's also there. Yeah, I believe that more than I do uh, ramen. 
Anywho, so I'm finishing the vlog a day late, but hey, who's gonna notice anyway? You guys need to like, you need to subscribe if you're watching because I will go out and do more stuff around Orlando, but I do need some motivation because, you know, I work a lot and I get tired, but if people are asking for it, I'm gonna do it. Shameless feeling so, is shameless. Me. What are you doing, Troy? Being weird. Yeah, stop. Oi. Anyway, <laughs> but yes, so like, subscribe. I will go out and do more stuff. I will take requests. I will do whatever. You just gotta let me know that you wanna see it and I'll go do it. Um. So, the uh, country that we're going to talk about today is Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is a country in Africa. It's near Niger. It was colonized by the French until 1960 when it gained its independence. However, the official language of Burkina Faso is still French. So, tonight I am saying goodbye in French. So, au revoir. Oh, <laughs> that came out so bad. It's such a hard word to say. <laughs> French. I really think it's awesome, people that like are native English speakers and then they learn another language and can speak it fluently, like, uh, kudos You've to them. You gotta be jealous of them because they have the hardest time Because I'm language. trying so hard just to learn Spanish. It's just that when you're old, the part of your brain that learns foreign languages just like dies and shuts off. So this country needs to get its act together, start teaching kids foreign languages when they're it's, super little so that it's easier for them to understand. School and elementary school. Yes, Troy, you gotta keep it. Obviously, <laughs> I'm talking preschool and elementary school. It would make a lot more sense. Anyway, Burkina Faso, they speak French there. So tonight's goodbye is gonna be in French. I know I'm butchering French. I'm trying really hard. If you're from France or if you speak French fluently, go ahead and send me a video response saying it correctly and I will practice it and I will respond again with me saying it right. Au revoir. Isn't adieu a way of saying goodbye in French too? 